Well, what's up, folks? Ron Howard, Extreme Sequences, with my completed Culp F32. 32 ports for power supplies. And you know what's interesting? I thought that was that was it. I thought, oh, 32 ports, that's cool, man. This thing's, uh, this thing's a badass. Um, what I didn't realize is that in addition to the 32 ports, 16 and 16, you get an additional 16, I believe it is, is that right? I think it is. So I could run four receivers. As you can see here, there's 41 through 44. Mm -hmm. And then there's 45 through 48. And then I'm basically just running a smart receiver here. And just yeah, turning on a few lights in test mode. It's just in standalone mode. So I haven't pushed anything to it yet. But uh, it came out real clean like. Um, so quiet. So quiet. Look at that. Fan's not even on. Doesn't need to be on. Just runs so quiet. Gotta love it, man. Just gotta love it. So what else? What's, what is neat about this? What else is kind of cool? Um, let's see here. Turn that on. Yep, yep. There we go. Uh, I just pick, it picked up an IP address through uh, DHCP. And then I'll kind of walk you through what I did. There's my bud industry. Look at that thing. Big, 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 big. Okay. Let us take a look at the software side of things. And some of you have seen this before, so I don't want to bore the snot out of you. But I do want to show you the interface on this because it's wicked. And all I did was throw 48 universes at it. I kept it 510. I cloned it. Uh, it's running in Unicast, which doesn't really matter right here, because um, that is the IP address of that, so it kind of doesn't make sense, but check this out, check this out. As we scroll down, see that? 48, yep, that's all good, right? All right, look at the BBB strings. There's my test string running 100 nodes, and then as we scroll down, you'll see at 33, I have another test string from diff running 50 nodes on universe 33, all right, all right. No big deal. So here's the one thing I don't understand about this, and that is the colors were off on the differential receiver. I had to change this to GBR to get the colors to match up. Not a big deal. No big deal. And I'm running everything 100% because I forgot to turn it down. But don't matter. I'm only running just a few strings. And you see here that if you're going to run these in a series of one, two, or three to daisy chain the receivers, you tell it here what you're doing and it would treat that accordingly. And so here's my diff, uh, one, two, three. Now, hold on, 33, 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe there's not 48. Hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at that. Maybe you only get three differential receivers. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, I have it on four serial here. Let's see what happens if I put it on eight serial and hit save and restart FPPD and let's see if that changes anything. Da, 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 da. I don't know that it would, but we're going to find out. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, it, it took one away. It, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Let's go back to the four serials, restart FPPD, because I think that's the one it really needs to be on. Okay, it's restarting, and we'll scroll down here, and it should be back. Yes. So from what I can tell here, uh, I am getting 32 channels plus three additional receiver boards, and I'll have to read up some more. I may have to ask some questions. Maybe you can tell me. Uh, exactly what I'm missing here, but that's a heck of a lot. And just think, you can run over 700 nodes per port uh, if you want to. Uh, I think there are some restrictions if it's a smart receiver versus a not smart receiver. And then other than that, uh, it's kind of easy peasy, man. Kind of digging it. Let me go back over here to my status control, display testing, and I'll turn test mode back on. And we'll just kind of cycle the RGB all. And boop, 
boom, 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 boom. There we are. That's it. Fun build. Uh, I, I don't miss building these. I don't know how Ricky does it. I don't know how he and uh, his family has the patience to do this. Um, but I can tell you, uh, putting all the pigtails in here, cutting off all the tin, and getting them all tightened up, uh, it, it's a pain in the butt. You all know what I'm talking about, unless you buy all the ready runs, which is just not a bad idea. Anyway, here's my receiver. It's so smart. And here's the third. Dude, this thing is so. There's no noise. It's quiet. It's really eerie how quiet that is. Y'all want to see me touch the red and black together? Wouldn't that be funny? No, I'm not going to do that. That would hurt. All right. Um, I got to go. I'm done with the build. On to other projects. Y'all take care.